In next few videos, we'll be talking about the algebraic structure of convergent sequences. So, let us have two convergent sequences, namely AN and BN. So, AN and BN, these two sequences such that AN tends towards A and BN tends towards B. A and B are some real numbers. So, the property, the very first property that we should know is that AN plus Bn, the sequence that comes by adding these two sequences will tend towards the limit A plus B. So, we will just try to prove it how that happens. Let us try to prove it. So, proof of An plus Bn tending towards A plus B. So, first of all, let me just write down what is given to us. Given to us is that An tends to A, Bn tends to B. And what is to prove? What is to be proved is that An plus Bn tends to A plus B or simply I could probably write that An plus Bn minus a plus b tends to 0, okay. What I have just done is, I have just algebra algebraically taken a and b here and trying to prove that that will tend to 0, okay. So, we can prove this. Now, how to prove it? Now, a n plus b n mod of a n plus b n minus a plus b would be greater than or equal to 0, okay, would be greater than or equal to 0, right. So, this will and I can just break it up, I can just break it up and say that this is same as saying Combining A with A, A n and B with B n, okay. So, by triangular inequality of real numbers, what do I know? This is one term, this is another term, this will always be less than or equal to the modulus of single terms, sum of the modulus of single terms, okay. So, this will be less than or equal to a n minus a mod plus b n minus b mod, okay. So, what we have actually done, we have just taken it as say this is x, this is y. So, mod x plus y, mod x plus y is less than or equal to mod x plus mod y, right. So, by triangular inequality, triangular inequality of real, real numbers, okay. So, we have reached this point now. Now, what do I know about A n and B n? I know about A n and B n that A n tends to A. So, which is same as saying that mod of A n minus A tends to 0. And also what I know about Bn is that it tends to B. So, that implies Bn minus B tends to 0. So, what do I have from here? I have from here that this particular thing tends to 0, this particular thing tends to 0. That means the sum will tend to 0. So, what I have is that An plus Bn minus A plus B is contained between two terms which both are tending towards 0, okay, tending towards 0 and that would mean, that would mean by sandwich, sandwich theorem or your squeeze theorem as we call it or as we call it squeeze theorem that an plus bn 
minus a plus b together they also tend to zero so which implies that the sequence a n plus b n actually tends to uh, sorry not zero of course a plus b okay they tend to a plus b